Hey everyone, I'm super glad to be back with you this week uh, to present on a really exciting topic and that's all on different things that you can print uh, so that you can uh, approach the different markets that are really popular in summer. Um, and it goes beyond just that. It really depends on what region you're in because it can ha you can have warm weather depending on where you're located. But either way, this is going to be a really great uh, topic to incorporate just so that you can think outside the box beyond just T-shirts and basic accessories that you may be currently custom printing and haven't thought about introducing to your customers. So I want to welcome everybody on. I always love seeing where you guys are joining from. I see you guys are already starting to do that on YouTube. You pretty much know the drill by now. Once you're on, you just kind of comment where you're joining from. So hello everyone on YouTube, Facebook, feel free to comment in. Let's see where you guys are joining from. Um, and while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the topic today. So we have um, previously printed on unique substrates um, that are popular in athletic wear that are 100% polyester or they are um, have like spandex or viscose in them that have typically been really hard to heat print in the past. But with some innovations that we've come up with, we have the ability to print on those, no big deal. So with that, we're able to really expand our reach in the different um, markets that we're doing. So that introduces swimwear. And one thing that I'm starting to see trend a lot um, between Pinterest and uh, Etsy and Instagram are custom uh, swimsuits, both for children, for adults, swimming trunks, body suits, whatever it may be, those polyester spandex mix blends um, that have been previously pretty hard to print without getting any bruising from the heat press or scorch marks, we can now print with the new ultra weave because it applies as low as 260 degrees. So we're not going to have to risk compromising the finish of the garment um, by printing a personalized or a custom text on there for a customer. And while you may assume this is probably a really small market, not something you'll consider adding to the business that you're currently reaching, it's definitely something I encourage you to research on because it is a very broad market and it's always a hot seller. So if you have downtime during summer, maybe you're doing a lot of custom apparel for schools or businesses and summer isn't really your peak season with them, this is a great way to just build more profit opportunity into your business by incorporating something like this. So don't rule it out just because it's not something you see done a lot because we're starting to see this really grow in popularity. Uh, in the past, bathing suits were typically something that had just the standard print on them and that would be it. They were retail ready at that point. But now we're starting to see monograms and custom texts for bridesmaids and the bridal parties that they do. So just keep this in mind. I feel like it's a great profit opportunity that I think gets overlooked. So I wanted to uh, bring to light how profitable that this market can be and how easy it is to decorate these items with just a heat press and some heat transfer vinyl. Now you can take it up a notch um, if you're embroidering in-house or maybe you have a contracted embroiderer and you want to offer that finish too, that's a really popular finish as well. Um, but you just want to take into consideration how it's definitely going to feel on the garment. A flat matte print is going to feel more comfortable as opposed to something uh, with a stitch on the inside kind of rubbing up on the skin. It's something that they're wearing all day if they're at the beach. So you want it to still be comfortable um, because comfort sells now. Um, it's just something that we're starting to see people choose a more comfortable option as opposed to a more premium look. So we're starting to see premium and comfortability be all tied into apparel across the board. And that's also being incorporated in bathing suits as well. So before we print, I want to show you just some inspiration of all the different uh, ways people are printing or customizing swimwear. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. All right, so this is from Pinterest, and honestly, I just smile when I look at this because it's such a cute picture. 
Um, but this brings to light how the how we're seeing um, bathing suits being printed. So um, it's even, I, I believe this is actually embroidery on there. So if it's something that you can embroider, like I said, even better, it's going to bring a more premium look and feel overall. But this is a really popular wholesale uh, product here that you can get from Wholesale Boutique. So this is one uh, inspiration that I found um, and it's trending very largely in children's apparel. It's just a basic monogram being dropped onto these really cute, roughly seersucker printed or pattern printed bathing suits. So this is a seersucker. Um, and then over on Etsy, you can see them not only being done in a full like one piece, but they're also being incorporated on two pieces as well. So we're going to be printing a two piece today. Uh, we're going to talk about where to source it and then also how much profit opportunity you have and just a little bit of heat transfer vinyl that you're cutting, weeding and heat applying, um, which is pennies at that point because it's just a, such a small area. Uh, but this really just brings to light all of the different ideas um, that people are doing. So this one you can see was done for a kid's swimming party and it just says birthday princess, birthday squad. So like that's one little niche that you can do with uh, the products. And then this one was a Barbie theme. So it just shows you all the different ways that you can do swimsuits for kids and then also for adults because this is very popular with um bridal parties that are going on you know their trips that they do so taking trips into tropical places going to the beach anything like that that's all very popular so this is one that you may have seen a lot um just on instagram even so this is this is simple. All they're doing pretty much is um, dropping heat transfer vinyl on here and then it's out the door. And what's nice about heat transfer vinyl is that it is so durable that you're not going to worry about whenever it's stretching if you're using the right heat transfer vinyl. Because remember, it's not all made the same. So you want to make sure you're using a good quality heat transfer vinyl that's going to stay on there, flex with the material while it's being worn so that it's not um, wrinkling up or wanting to pop off at all. Now, one thing I want um, you guys to keep an eye out for are any synthetic fabrics that um, the material is being produced in being uh, water resistant. For the most part, bathing suits aren't. They're usually 100% polyester or a mix of viscose or spandex. Uh, but just keep an eye out if it says it's water resistant, um, like maybe some of the board shorts that are out there. Um, just stuff like that. So just keep an eye out for what it's made of because you're putting heat transfer vinyl on something that has any waterproofing or water resistance. It's just going to fall right off. Um, so definitely pay close attention to what the substrate is made of. All right. So that is inspiration um, from Pinterest and Etsy. So if you guys want to find great ways to start incorporating this in the summer so that you can stay busy and stay uh, like, you know, keep your uh, income coming at a regular level as it would be. Because uh, I just talk with a lot of customers that say, you know, summer is my downtime. You know, I, I'm not selling a lot. So this would be a great way to just kind of fill in and offer unique items that you wouldn't typically sell to your typical customer base. All right, now let's talk about where you can source. So the bathing suit that I'm going to be uh, printing today is the Mermaid Kiss Girl Swim Set right here. So this is wholesaleboutique.com and they do really cute kids uh, apparel and, or not apparel, but uh, swimwear. And so you can see little swimming trunks on there. They do little bathing suit cover-ups. So um, this is what they have for the season. They're always incorporating uh, different styles and patterns uh, every season, but this is what they have for 2020. Um, and we're going to be printing this one. So I already have my um, heat transfer vinyl all cut out. 
And like I said earlier, we are able to print these um, heat sensitive substrates very easily with UltraWeed because it applies at a nice low temperature of 260 degrees and it can hold very fine detail. Um, so I'm able to get nice little monograms and stuff like that. So as you saw from the inspo I pulled from Pinterest, monograms are a really popular print for children's apparel, especially if you're just doing uh, one-offs or onesie twosies. So I'm just using white on this pattern because I feel like it stands stands out the best um, whenever it's being paired on such a busy pattern. So that's one best pack practice is if you are working with a bathing suit or swimwear that has a pattern on it, make sure that you are using a contrast color that's going to pop off and not get lost in that pattern. So that's why I'm just going with the basic white application. And now we're going to go ahead and head over to the heat press so that we can heat apply this and you can see how this works. All right, so you can see I already have the heat printing pillow um, brought up here. And I'm just gonna test my pressure to make sure it's not too heavy because that's what can scorch um, the apparel, especially if it's heat sensitive. And we're just going to drop this right on the platen and insert this pillow right like that. All right, so now the straps from the back of my bathing suit are underneath the pillow and completely out of the way. And now I have something that's going to keep a nice flat, even pressure in there because whenever this is being heat applied, all of the thick seams or areas that are gonna get hit with that upper heating element before I get to the flat area, they're just gonna sink right down into that pillow and keep my print area raised. So that's the beauty of working with heat printing pillows. I always make sure I have them on hand because I just think they make printing things so much easier. So this is a sublimated bathing suit. So I wanna make sure that I am doing a preheat for that, but also using a cover sheet to ensure that I'm not getting any transferred ink up to my upper heating element. And now all I have to do is lock that in place. And the heat press is going to do the rest of the work for me. So 12 seconds, 260 degrees. My temperature is at the perfect temperature so that it is not going to ruin the finish of the item that we're heat applying. And this is a hot pill. And our bathing suit top is complete. So we're at a nice low temperature that's not really uh, allowing for the sublimated ink to migrate through. We're also working with a material that has a good bit of stretch to it so that whenever this is on and it is being stretched with the body that's wearing it, it's not going to crack or want to peel off or rip or anything like that. So make sure you're sur sourcing the most durable products products that are going to be able to hold up in salt water, chlorine, whatever it may be, and not deteriorate or anything like that. So these are really great. This is a great quality um, heat transfer vinyl. So we can ensure that once this is out the door, we're not going to come back with a customer that's upset that it's falling off or anything. All right. So, and again, anytime you're working, and I just feel like I need to repeat this. Anytime you're working with a pattern that is super busy like the mermaid kiss bathing suit from Wholesale Boutique. Make sure you're using a contrast color that's really gonna pop off of this. And that's why I used white because it is um, just popping off the best with all the different colors in the busy pattern. Now we're going to print the bottoms. And what I love about the bottoms of this bathing suit is that they thought about the decorator and where they would be able to uh, print this. So there is a little ruffle here that gives us just enough area to be able to personalize that, that as well. And every time I talk about um, different pieces that are being paired together or one item overall, I'm always saying, you know, the more areas of a garment that you can heat apply, the more profit opportunity you will have. So it just makes sense at this point to add the monogram to the bottoms as well. So with that same process, I'm just going to insert my pillow, dress the bathing suit bottoms, 
onto the pillow and just place where I want my monogram to go. Now there is a seam under here from um, the bottoms and where they meet or are sewn into this ruffle part. So I'm just pushing that back to get it flat as possible so that this is nice and flat on my pillow. And once again, I'm gonna use this cover sheet just to ensure that none of that ink is going to transfer through up to my heating element. And I did see a comment come in um, that wants to know if we are using Sublistop. So we are actually using Ultraweed. So Ultraweed applies on polyesters at 260 degrees. So that temperature, because it is so low, um, it's not really allowing any of the sublimation to migrate through. So if you have a heat transfer vinyl that applies low enough, then you're not gonna experience any dye migration at all. So again, that's why Ultraweed is gonna be the best solution for printing bathing suits. Right, and then it's a hot pill, so that's complete too. And you can see the amount of detail that we were able to get in that too. So Ultraweed is just gonna be phenomenal um, for the amount of detail that you can get in a bathing suit. So let me remove this for a second. Um, so just think about all the different monogram styles are out there. There's circle text like you see here. But then there's also really intricate ones that incorporate monogram frames or laurels, and those get even more intricate and more detailed. And then you also have the script. So choosing a heat transfer vinyl that's not only going to stay durable on the products that you're printing, but also be able to make your production side a lot easier is going to be just less of a headache. So Ultraweed, a great product for printing these items. Now, as I showed you um, on wholesaleboutique.com, they also do matching cover-ups, right? So this is the matching cover-up. Now, this is a super busy pattern and I, I don't wanna just print a monogram on here, but of course that can be done. Uh, but you've just seen me do two of the same monograms. So I did wanna switch up the cover-up. So while they do offer matching cover-ups, if you want to add more profit opportunity you could incorporate a totally different style of cover-up uh, but or tank top or something to just really throw over the bathing suit at that point. It doesn't have to be specifically um, the same finish or substrate that needs to be paired with it. You could just pair a tank top with it. So uh, think outside the box. Once again, um, I'm going to incorporate a 100% cotton fringe tank from Cavio, and we're going to do a cute little uh, graphic on it so that it can be worn not only as a bathing suit cover up, but or just with a pair of jean shorts. So they get more use out of um, what you're offering with them. So when you're thinking of bathing suits, also think of, okay, what are some add on cells that I can sell with this or add on products that I can sell with this to create more profit opportunity? Or maybe I just want to package items together and get one big sale for three items that didn't cost so much. So we're gonna print the 100% cotton and we're going to do a three color ultra weed product that's gonna pair perfectly because I incorporated very similar colors throughout this print. Um, that's going to go great with the bathing suit as well. All right, this one I don't need my pillow for, so I'm gonna be able to um, back up my pressure here. So I want to test where I'm at right now. And I said back up my pressure. What I mean is increase because that pillow was in there that added more density. It increased my pressure to make up for um, the pillow not being in there. So the first color I'm going to start with is the green because that is the largest part of my design. And that's just going to help with easier alignment. And this SVG that I'm using was free from lovesvg.com. So if you guys are looking for this, um, it's right on Love SVG. Just go to their spring and summer SVGs, and then it'll be like one of the first few that are on there. Now, whenever I'm working with multicolor uh, ultra weed, I am able to tack for just two seconds. 
So not only does that help speed up my time spent at the heat press, but that's also going to allow me to um, make for easy alignment because heat transfer vinyl can tend to shrink a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually apply my pineapple first because that is going to help me align the Aloha text a lot easier. So again, we're just gonna tack this for a couple of seconds. Hot peel. Place the third piece. And then the last application will get the full time. So that's gonna cure each piece that was tacked and we don't have to worry at that point that the adhesive didn't get enough of the dwell time. And that's complete. Now, you'll notice, and I'm gonna to try to hold this up as close as possible so that you can catch that, but there is a little bit of a line going through my summer text, and that is from the Mylar carrier um, of the Aloha text. So what I'm gonna to to do to try to buff that out is lay this right back on and just tack it for a few seconds with the cover sheet and see if we can get that out. One way to avoid that is if you're layering heat transfer vinyl or doing multiple colors is to just um, tack the last layer and then apply with a cover sheet for the full application. So I was able to get that out, it's no longer there. Right, so that is one way to save it. As long as you're not at an extremely high pressure, then you'll be able to uh, fix the mistake. So, but one way to avoid it is just to make sure you're tacking the last layer. That way you don't have to worry about it um, being there or trying to get it out after the damage is already done. So this was a good case scenario. It ended up working just fine, um, but just keep that in mind. So. What I would do is pair this with the bathing suit for more added profit opportunity. So we have a three color cotton tank top here, really cute, very retail. Um, that is good. just gonna add more profit opportunity to the bathing suit. So now I can sell this as a three piece set, or even if I wanna throw this in with it and sell it as a four piece set, maybe add a monogram to this. But in my opinion, the customer will be able to get more use out of this tank top that will work great as a um, bathing suit cover up, but they can also uh, wear it as an outfitted piece as well. All right, so that was uh, the three projects that I wanna show you today, but I am going to do a bonus project right after I visit the comment section and answer any questions that you guys have. All right, scrolling up to see where we are at. All right, hello from everybody joining in. We have Kansas City, Washington. Hello, Patrice, I'm glad you were able to make it. Uh, Louisiana, Canada, thank you guys so much for joining. Good to see you guys again. I'm seeing a lot of familiar names on here. Hello from Brooklyn. Thank you. I decided to, uh, so StreamYard that we um, go live through onto all of our social platforms, they are uh, allowing you to do it on mobile now. So that's just my camera um, on my phone set up on a tripod over there. But I appreciate you noticing because I get comments every time I'm live that they can't see what I'm doing at the heat press. So I was like, we got to figure out a way to change that. <clears throat> Love the new split screen. Thanks, Mike. All right, so yes, this was Ultra Weed. All right, looks like we're answering all the questions. All right, so we did our three-piece project that I think would sell great together. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys would sell this for. So real quick, we are going to bring up Etsy and see what a basic monogrammed bathing suit would sell for. So this is actually from Wholesale Boutique, this um, swimwear piece right here. And they are selling it for $22.95.
and they are allowing people to pick their monogram type, the colors that they want. If they want a special effect, they can do that. Um, so let's just say we're going with the basic um, circle monogram and they are doing a thread color. So they're actually embroidering this. So if we can sell for embroidery at $22.95 with a monogram personalized two pieces, what would you guys sell it for with heat transfer vinyl? I'm curious to know. Especially because I know that stuff varies based off of demographic, where you're at, if you are working with children's apparel, anything like that. And then I would sell this for probably $16. Cotton tank top, it has the fringe, which is an added profit. But we also have three colors of heat transfer vinyl on here. If it was single color, I'd probably go as low as like $13, $12 or $13, um, just because the tank top is profitable on its own, honestly. But we're adding more profit opportunity with the heat transfer vinyl. So I am curious to know what you guys would sell the two-piece monogram for. We were able to upsell with this a little bit uh, because we added more personalization to the skirt, whereas they were just doing the top, not in addition to the bottoms. All right. Lisa says she would sell all three pieces for 36, which I think is fair. Three pieces for 40, Tara Lynn says. Terry Lynn, Tara Lynn. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right. So the bonus project we're going to be doing while you guys are figuring out how much you would sell this for is going to be a leather flip flop with glitter flake heat transfer vinyl. And the reason I wanted to show this is because earlier we were talking about different things that you can offer in the summer that will create more profit opportunity if it is specifically your down season. Um, so while you're in between your really busy seasons, what can you also be doing to build profit opportunity? So we are outside of just basic t-shirts. We're getting into bathing suits, bathing suit cover-ups, popular tank tops. Now let's really switch it up and heat apply some footwear. So this is a leather sandal. Actually, this is faux leather. So this is not a true leather. There is some plastic in here that I source from Wholesale Boutique. And it is a buckle. So this is a metal buckle. So it is a very premium look. Um, definitely can sell way more than like the silicone rubbery flip flops that are pretty, I mean, you have to replace those nearly every season. Um, so these are a little bit longer lasting. They're definitely more of a premium look and feel. They have like the cork pattern on the bottom and they're ribbed. They're not just like a basic flat um, flip flop. So we can add a more premium finish by doing a matching monogram, which we're gonna do in glitter. Now, typically, whenever we've shown how to heat press on footwear, we have used the shoe platen. We don't necessarily need the shoe platen for this specific piece because we're able to undo this from the buckle and just lay this flat on the platen. So let's head to the heat press and show you how it's done. So I'm just going to lay this right here. The rest is going to fall off to the side. And that's going to hold on there because I'm just threading the top piece on there. So now the bulk of the item is out of the way and now we have a nice flat, even surface all the way across. So no extra accessories needed. Now, whenever I was doing this monogram, I was thinking to myself, okay, if I place it this way, is it upside down or is this upside down? I'm assuming that since the Wholesale Boutique logo is facing this way, that is what they are considering to be straight so that it's read correctly. And if you want people that are looking at your shoes to be able to read it, then you definitely want to go this way. So just keep that in mind, learn from me questioning originally. And I'm just going to cover this with a cover sheet and tack for a few seconds. The reason this is going to work just fine by tacking for a few seconds, not having to use a um, special accessory like a flexible application pad is because this isn't an item that's going to be laundered. 
So I'm not really concerned about the vinyl holding up in the wash at this point. Um, I'm just making sure that the adhesive is getting cured to the le faux leather um, item here. Now, I do have a little bit of a box here from my carrier. So like we did earlier, we're just gonna lay this back on there and buff that out by just hitting it one more time, letting the cover sheet just like flatten everything out and get rid of that little divot in there. So now we have a completely monogrammed sandal that we could, could also sell with a bathing suit cover up, a tote bag, a beach towel, anything like that. So keep this in mind, it's really unique, but it's really easy to do, especially if you're already working with heat transfer vinyl, you're already offering personalization and we have so many different colors in Glitter Flake and you can go beyond Glitter Flake. If you would rather sell this as a matte finish, you could do it in ultra weak because it applies at such a low temperature. Um, you could do it in metallic gold would be beautiful with the uh, gold buckle that we have here that has that metallic finish to it. So just keep that in mind. Um, really great opportunity here. You could sell these for like $25. Um, and again, these are sourced from Wholesale Boutique. So if I go to their website, we can look up how much these are. And then you can gauge how much you would sell it for as well. So I need to sign in to get the price. Let me share my screen with you so that you can see that. Go to sandal. All right, four dollars. They were originally fourteen fifty. So now I'm curious if they're like just on, you know, getting rid of inventory at this point with this item since they're on sale for four dollars. So if you can, um access these and start promoting these to your customers, you can get them at a nice low price and um, just create more profit opportunity because these can honestly, they can sell for $24 because they're a premium sandal. It's not just a basic flat, like rubber sandal that we see a lot in like, uh, like on Amazon, Walmart. I mean, even um, higher retail brands sell them because they're, um, branding the foot area of it uh, with like screen print, uh, but that stuff rubs off. So this is definitely more premium than those as well. All right, so one more question. What temp was your heat press? Still at 260. So that's the thing. And, and this is where it can get a little tricky, but you really just learn the tricks as you get more experience with heat printing, especially if it's unique items. For the most part, if you're heat printing t-shirts, you just need to follow the guidelines that we provide, what time, temperature, and pressure it should be for everything. But when you start doing unique accessories that incorporate leather or PVC, um, like those clear tote bags and backpacks that are really popular, we mix up the temperature a good bit. So for this 260, no problem. It's not going to pick off. I can take a weeder to this and it's not going to loosen up or want to pick off. So because I am printing on faux leather for this application, this leather is also heating up and being activated because there's plastic in it. So this adhesive isn't taking much at all to cure to that and hold on there without it wanting to pick up or anything. This also isn't an item that's going to be laundered. So it's okay for me to drop my temp. It's just knowing when to do that. Um, so it's not something I recommend for apparel, stuff that's gonna be constantly laundered. You wanna make sure you're using the 290 for glitter flake for 10 to 15 seconds using a medium pressure. But it's just really, um, when you start working with this type of stuff, kind of knowing when you should drop your temperature. It can be confusing, but it's honestly, the more you work with it, the more sense you can make of it. Yeah, and this is also called Glitter Flake, right? So Glitter Flake is the glitter texture heat transfer vinyl. 
even though it says flake in it, it doesn't flake off. It's not something you have to worry about flaking off and attaching to different things, um, especially when you launder it, that's not gonna happen. Um, and then the other product we used was Ultra Weed. All right, so this is your go-to basic matte heat transfer vinyl, um, has a good bit of give and stretch to it, so you don't have to worry about it cracking or popping off. And Natalie asks, did you use a normal heat press for that? Yeah, so didn't use an iron um, or any of those handheld heat presses. I just used the craft press for this, um, manufactured by Hotronics. It doesn't have a pressure readout like some of the Hotronics presses that are a little more higher end, um, but it does the job. It has the heated coils that are woven throughout. They're not, there's no cold spots or anything. So normal heat press. Um, and all I did was unbuckle this and then just lay this flat on there. So we didn't have to use any additional accessories. All right. So it looks like we have all of the questions asked or answered. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, if you're not already in our Facebook group, Heat Press for Profit, be sure to join us there so that um, you guys can get updates. We're all, it's a big heat printers community. Um, so join us there. We're always posting um, updated stuff, going live, doing videos and things in there. So that's where I always post um, the finished products. Um, and I photograph them in a way so that you could utilize those and show your customers if you wanna use those um, to promote things that you can do. So definitely uh, join the group there. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bar uh, or bell so that you can get updated on any time we are posting new content. Thank you guys again so much for joining. I will see you Thursday at 11.